Good morning! How's everyone doing? <laughs> I feel like I have to say good morning, everyone. Or hello. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I guess because if I saw you in person, I would say hi. How are you? Or good morning. I gotta be honest with you. I am feeling, what is that? What's going on? I'm feeling a little bit insecure today because I have really bad acne on my chin. I don't think I've ever had my skin break out this much before. And I think it's a combination of things really. I think it's a combination of my diet, which, I must say I have lost three pounds because I have been trying to eat cleaner and I think I'm also stressed and maybe hormones. I don't know. I, I think I have all strikes against me at this point. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to get gas first because I think Chris is going out later. He's going to meet up with Jerry. Barnacle's nerdgasm. I haven't seen him in a while. I didn't want to put makeup on it because I was scared that that'd just make it worse. Yeah, so I'm just leaving it be. There's nothing quite like being able to share a beef stick with your daughter. <sighs> Although I can't really feed it to you right now because one hand is holding on to you and the other one is holding on to the camera. We could lady and tramp this. Good choice. One of my friends who I've known for years is putting on a 3D printer camp. Though I still have zero interest in 3D printing. It's complicated and the experience is beyond esoteric. I am absolutely fascinated by what they do. It's just that I don't want one. I love seeing some of the outputs. It's just that I don't want to mess around with the input. I'm just not much of a gadget geek. Never have been. Never will be. Diana and Jedi opted to stay behind, and I opted to have only one cup of coffee this morning so that I can get another one this afternoon. Chris Perillo needs a certain kind of filament that contains caffeine. Here's the thing, and this may throw you off a bit. I will likely get Jedi a 3D printer. The only thing I absolutely see in my future is helping Jedi shape hers. How much longer is this going to take? This will probably take another 20 minutes here. 3D printing is not fast, it's accurate. What we are doing is introducing people that have never been into 3D printing to 3D printing by allowing them to build their own kits, and then when they're done, take it home with them. And Prusa sells these kits for $5.99, which is very aggressive, and that's how I got into it. This broke during assembly, someone flexed it too hard, so we're producing replacement parts. The whole printer is open source, so you're free to rebuild these, and if you want to go into a business making these, create a thousand of these and sell them, more power to you. I was designing these things myself, and then printing these through a service bureau, and this cost about $40 to print. This was about $20 to print, and after a few of these I realized, wait a minute, maybe I should explore buying and, and getting my own. I didn't know what kind of printer to get. There are hundreds of them, too many choices. So I asked the guy that was printing mine at the service bureau, what do you use? And he said Prusa. Takes about five to six hours to build and you can be off and running. Spare part. Spare part. Spare part. <laughs> Spare parts. Yeah. Got it. Always creeping. Look, I'm creeping too, look. Whoa, look at this camera reception. We live in the era where software is ruining devices. Worst case is that the thing shorts up and you use the tape and the Mm -hmm. Software ruins devices. This is the 3D printing nerd. You're right. What's that? Did need to be 3D at the printing oh, really? yeah. nerd. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Bounce chicken on it. The crusher really had front before. Yeah, you are. The, 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 the frame was on the on the. I feel like a camera's over our shoulder here. You essentially want something to insert that battery into. Right? Yes. So the cool thing is, I have got this object here. Oh, you're just gonna subtract it. Push it in there and combine them. Now I print that and that thing would basically fit that. It's kind of hard to do that. 
That's yeah. awesome. Isn't that why? Yeah. Like that is, that's thing. very simple. Jerry, that's literally one of the best things about Tinkercad. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. object math, right? You, it's, just a, it's just a Boolean. How many people does it take right. to fix right. a 3D printer? Yep, English. Ah, yeah. All right. Where's the camera? We were worried we'd show up in the evening and, and like you guys would just be like in tears with piles of parts. Hey, I knew some of the people there, but not all of them. Oh, cool. Yeah, Jerry and David? And Joel. One guy that was there, I've seen his videos before online. He redoes props or basically fabricates props, and they look super realistic. It's interesting, but I just can't get into it right now. Sometimes it's nice to bask in somebody else's nerdiness. And extrude me if you don't also understand that feeling. I may not make the things, but I love collecting the things. I opened it! Thank you, Pam. Out of all the Coca-Cola girls I know, you're my favorite. Or should I say, me favorito? You're going to learn English and Spanish and Hatties. Yeah, Hatties. You're going to learn it. What do you think, Jedi? Would you rather draw on paper or would you rather 3D print objects? Or both? They're not mutually exclusive. I was a part of the first home computing revolution. They don't call it home computing anymore. They don't even call it computing, really. Technology's everywhere, which is great. But you can't say, I like tech. That's like saying, I like air. I used to design these Mad Libs programs and then have my parents sit at the computer and then enter in words like adjectives and adverbs and then I had to explain the difference between adjectives and adverbs to my dad. But Joe Pa is great with the numbers. I am not. Noonie. Noonie is with Joe Pa. Yes. You could even make us an ashtray, but we don't smoke. You make what you want. I promise to love it. Yes, all done. Someone cleaned up all of her Lego bricks. Really? On her own. Huge thanks to patron Earl Green who let me know that Battlestar Galactica, the plan was available. I had no idea. Years ago, I binged on the series and loved it, but this really completed the entire experience. What? I should go back and rewatch it when you're ready for it, Jedi. Are you ready for it now? Yes. <laughs> awesome. I think Mommy was lamenting that she had to wear a sweater the other day, but I'm loving it! I'm not even tickling you! Thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day. Your support is always appreciated, and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you, we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com. You'll get even more of what you love from us. Advanced screenings, behind the scenes, and most importantly, you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you. See you tomorrow!